The sophomore album from Kana's Voice just released a few days ago, so it seemed like a great time to finally go back and review their first album, This Changes Everything. Kana's Voice is what I would consider to be a supergroup. Each of its members have spent time as part of other successful Christian groups, and so they are all well respected and well known in the Christian music community already. The trio is comprised of Taranda Green of The Greens, Doug Anderson of Ernie Haas and Signature Sound, and one of my all time favorite male vocalists, Jody McBrayer, who is best known from his time with the group Avalon. Their debut album, This Changes Everything, is an eclectic mix of Southern gospel, of Christian pop, and gospel. But honestly, nothing ever really feels out of place as they move seamlessly from one track to another. If I had to choose one category to place this album in, it would be difficult, but I would say that it leans Southern gospel. Um, all of those other genres are represented and represented well, but it does lean Southern Gospel. But honestly, there is something here for everyone to enjoy. Many of these tracks have been recorded previously by other artists, but the arrangements and production really do keep things fresh. So if you didn't know the songs beforehand, you'd probably just assume that they were original to this group. The song I Give It To You is my personal favorite and one of the few original songs on this album. The song talks about giving every part of our lives over to the Lord, both the good and the bad, so both fear and hope, both joy and pain. He can redeem all of these things and use them for His glory, but we must give them over to Him first. It's a message that I personally need to hear often, and I know others do as well. So um, I just feel like it's a really great song on this album, and you pair that message with the fun pop folk track that it has, and it's kind of in the same vein as the song Greater by Mercy Me or even Home by Phil Phillips, and um, you've got one of the album's standout moments in my opinion. Where Kana's voice shines brightest, however, is tracks where their vocal talents are allowed to just soar. The best examples on this album, in my opinion, are the songs I Won't Go Back and Jesus Never Fails. Backed by a full choir and orchestra, these three proclaim timeless truths with passion and precision in a way that few groups in Christian music today can. Thematically, this project is tightly woven together. Most of the songs contain lyrics that focus on the faithfulness of God and how Jesus walks with us through the storms and the trials of life. Listening back through this album again before writing this review, I was encouraged, I was challenged, and I was even brought to tears at times by the message it contains, even more so now than um, when it first released three years ago. I'm so thankful that we serve a God who never leaves us, who never fails, no matter where we find ourselves in this life. Kenya's voice does an excellent job of presenting that truth on every track of this album. So do I recommend this album? Yes, I highly recommend it to all Christian music fans, but especially those who are fans of the previous work of Jody, Taranda, and Doug. So if you can only download one track from this album, I would make it either Give It To You or Jesus Never Fails. If you have to skip one, I would make it Hello Fear. The song has great lyrics, but in my opinion, it just doesn't feel like it meshes as well with all of the other songs on the project. So once again, I highly recommend this album. This Changes Everything by Kana's Voice. So be sure to check it out. Also be sure to check out their brand new album. It's called Don't Wanna Miss This, and it just came out last Friday. So give that a listen as well. So tell me down in the comment section, what do you think of this debut album from Kana's Voice, This Changes Everything? Or uh, what do you think of the, the artist in general? I'd love to hear your opinions on those things and we can talk about it in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.